Turning now to a News 12 exclusive, a Brooklyn woman speaking out tonight following a random attack in Prospect Park this past August. She tells us that she was chased and beaten, and while she survived, her dog didn't make it and died because of his injuries. News 12's Phil Tate joining us now from Prospect Park. Phil, I can imagine this was an emotional conversation you had with her tonight. Yeah, Amanda, there's nothing more that this Brooklyn woman wants than her attacker to be apprehended. Well, it's been three months since this incident, and she tells me it's hard to sleep, waiting for updates and answers from police. You get those moments of silence if you're there early in the morning, which is what um, we got to enjoy. Jessica Krestick loved her walks at Prospect Park with her dog Moose, but one walk turned violent, rather deadly. She says she was doused with urine by a random man and things only got worse. He quickly chased after us and hit me. And then um, when we were close to the top of the stairs, he hit Moose. Jessica says Moose underwent two surgeries, but was unable to pull through. It was an, a snuggly and sweet um, dog, and he was um, he was special. It's been three months since the terrifying attack from a man she says looks like this, but there are still no answers. I have done um, everything that I can within my capacity to assist in his apprehension um, by working both with the police and the public. Last Friday, the Brooklyn woman says she got a call from a friend who was present at the August incident and had spotted the attacker. I was out the door in less than 60 seconds. When she arrived at the park, she says she tried to grab the attention of officers in a nearby squad car, but she says she was ignored. She says while she tried to follow him, things quickly went south. I was maced and I was chased by the same man that killed Moose on Friday and I was left out like bait for 40 minutes. And it is shameful that it has come to this. We're still uh, investigating uh, that, that portion of it, uh, but we recognize that um, things can happen. Um, we've learned from that, and as a result, we've changed our deployment. Captain Franz Souffron, commanding officer of the 78th Precinct, says the NYPD has been working around the clock, aiming to make an arrest. As of right now, we've stopped 10 people that have matched the description, uh, but unfortunately, uh, none of them were uh, the attacker. While the suspect remains at large, Jennifer wants an arrest to ensure the community remains safe. When I say he came at me with the stick, he was swinging it. And if I had not been a runner, I don't, I don't know if someone else, the, the outcome would have been different. Oh, just devastating and police say that the suspect wore white beads around his wrist and carried a wooden stick. Well, if anyone has any information that could help police in their investigation, well, you are urged to give them a call. Well, that's the latest here in Park Slope. I'm Phil Tate, News 12. Hope everyone there is keeping an eye out for him. Phil, thank you.